Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hans Fine Fall video. Today we're going to play as Germany and go communist and then spread communism across Europe and maybe the world as well. One more thing before we begin, a little bit of a disclaimer really. I wanted to try something a little bit different. This video is not as polished as many of my other ones. I don't have a clear plan. It's more like um, I've had a weird idea and I want to test it out and show it. Let me know if you like it after you've seen the video, of course, or if you prefer my regular kind of videos. And that's about it. Let's go. I'm an historical. Regular difficulty. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I've been trying a few different approaches. So, why communist as Germany? Well, there isn't really a focus tree for communism in Germany. There is a focus tree for non-aligned, there's a focus tree for democratic. And of course, there's the default fascist focus tree. But there isn't a communist one. Fortunately, we can just employ a communist revolutionary and, you know, it's business as usual. There are a few ways we could do this. We could ally the USSR, we could squash them and absorb them into our country. And there's one pretty cool but very inefficient way of doing this. We could oppose Hitler, revive the Kaiserreich, expatriate the communists to France, making France communist, join the Allies, turn communist, spread communism across the world. Now, doing it this way is horribly, horribly inefficient, and we would need to turn non-aligned before we turn communist. So, let's do just that. Before we oppose Hitler, though, we should attack Poland so that we can go directly into the Soviet Union afterwards, because um, I think we're gonna have a different brand of communism. Transitioning from fascism to communism is not such a wild idea, because on the surface the ideologies might seem very different, because, you know, right-wing, left-wing, but um, when it comes down to it, they're actually very similar. It's like same bad things done for different reasons. They're essentially very similar because they're both collectivist ideologies, which means the good of the class, of the people, of the country, is more important than your own freedom and your own wishes, always. And that is true for both of them. So transitioning from fascism to communism should not really change too much in our country. Anyway, let's start with the um, four-year plan. We want to get that extra research slot. And we're going to be opposing Hitler. Yes, I know it's very inefficient, but it is also the more interesting way of doing it. And we're gonna build some civilian factories in um, the places that we're going to, you know, maintain control of when the civil war starts. Research. Research, research, industry research, and doctrine. Mobile warfare is great, but it's not suited for communism. Communism needs mass assault. As for factories, infantry weapons all the way. Who needs fancy artillery and stuff like that? We just give each person a gun and a grenade and some bullets, and we're set. I'll need some more troops for the conquest of Poland. We start with 30 units, so let's make 90 more. I'm gonna train cavalry because it's the cheapest and will deploy the fastest, and then we will switch that to uh, infantry. Let's unpause. All right, we should also establish an agency, but agents are not really the way we're going to do this. But they can help a bit. And I know I could just attack France, destroy it with paratroopers, and then land our troops in London and conquer the Allies within the year of starting the game. Yes, I did a speedrun as Germany. It's just um, I'm doing it that way because it seems more fun. We have enough political power, let's start justifying a war goal on Poland. Actually, you should have done that a few days ago. Justify war goal on... sure, Poznań. Works. Now, why do I want to attack Poland right away? Essentially because we can. To be more precise, we can attack and conquer Poland as Germany at the start of the game without anyone interfering, and we'll get a lot of land and uh, factories. Also, our civil war will be easier. Let's do autarky. And we can recruit our first agent. Do we have anyone who is skilled at uh, politics? No. So let's get the commando. Localized training centers. We might need that later. Oh, right, I forgot. Um, they have changed the methyl bills thingy so that you no longer just ignore them and have them, you know, expire. Now we have to actively cancel them. So let's actively cancel them. Electronic mechanical engineering complete. Let us do mechanical computing. And we speak against Poland. So we're not going to be demanding Sudetenland, so we can hire Hjalmar Schacht for the extra speed of building our industry up. Let's do psychological warfare, concentrated industry, and let's deploy some more cavalry. I guess I'll do some passive defense. I could become spy master, but I'm not sure if I'll retain it once I start the civil war. Maybe we should check it out, just to know. Let's do Hermann Gering Werke. Let's form a cryptology department. That can actually work in our favor against the Soviet Union quite heavily. I guess I will become spymaster, because I want to know if it will disappear 
once we start the civil war or if I will retain the spymaster status. Theoretically my faction will disappear, so I should lose it, but I want to try. United Kingdom dominates Dutch trade negotiations and we do not care. Nationalist Spain declared war on Spain. Now as we are going communist eventually, it would be nice for us if Spain become Republican, but um, that doesn't really happen anymore. Let's promote our favorite field marshals. That will be von Manstein, Guderian, and where is he? Kessering. I choose these three because they have the brilliant strategies to trade. Level 4, and if you do the civil war with Germany, they are still on your side, so you don't waste the resources invested in them. Guderian will be aggressive, offensive and charismatic, but we'll do the others later. Also assigning your field marshals as generals early on is a nice way to level them up for later. The best trained guys will go over here, attack Poland from the north, and the rest of you can just attack normally. Formed the cryptology department. Let's decrypt the Soviet Union. It's gonna take a while. Hermann Göring work complete. Cut the F-Wagen next. Yay, methyl bills are done for. Don't have enough guns for them, but it um, doesn't really matter. We'll win anyway. Perhaps I should have just deployed three armies instead of five. It would have been enough. Cut the F-Wagen is complete. Next up, research slot. Let's go to extensive conscription. I'm focusing on decryption quite heavily, perhaps that's a mistake, but we want to get the bonus once we decide to destroy the Soviet Union, because, um, yeah, we don't really like Joseph's brand of communism, we're going to replace it with our own computing machine. Oh, right, we have a war goal, and I missed it. That's silly of me. Anyway, let's declare war. Germany at war again, yes, and the Polish are not showing any resistance, well, of course. Germany is a war machine and Poland can't really resist a German attack unless it's uh, led by a player. As you can see, Poland is about to be conquered. And it's now time to start opposing Hitler. Just remember that there are a few things I need to do right before this finishes. Radio. Warsaw is ours. Poland falters. Let's take everything. Ah, oh, the Soviet Union is doing the Great Purge. Good. Now, for our forces, let's disband all of them. Why? Well, because in a civil war, our enemy is gonna get half of our forces. Plus we both get a bit of, you know, normal troops. But speaking of normal troops, I can use another exploit that has not been fixed to get lots and lots of powerful troops that my enemy will not get. Oppose Hitler is about to complete. I'm going to start justifying a war goal on the Soviet Union. Why? Well, because now I can. And once we're non-aligned, I will no longer be able to do that. Although 210 days, hmm, might be a bit early. Yeah, okay, that's, that's gonna be good enough. We have increased the world tension quite a bit, but that should not affect us. We have already conquered Poland and we don't plan any other conquests, well, except for the Soviet Union in the near future. What could change is some more countries could send volunteers to Spain because world tension is very high. Yeah, Wehrmacht officers challenge hit that. Before this happens, we need to go over here to our division designer and edit a template. Let's take our infantry division, duplicate it, and create a template. It has to be named Landsturmregiment. And now we're going to change its setup a bit. Let's give it some artillery, not too much, maybe eight artillery and a lot of infantry. Now I could use heavy tanks and I would get lots of heavy tanks for free, but I don't like using tanks, so I'm not going to. We're gonna get a full army of these for free, right about now, we did not have any troops, so all the forces that we have and our enemies have are the Landsturmregiment forces. Only mine look like this, and theirs, well theirs, look like this. As you can see, we have a bit of an advantage. Now before I forget, let's rename them to Landsturmregiment Zwei, so that they don't get disbanded after the Civil War. We want some more troops, so let's create a new division. Give it one cavalry unit and call it tiny. Now we can train them very quickly, deploy them and then switch them to normal units. I'm gonna need, what, I have 24, so I'm going to need 96 of these. Let's go for one full army group. We could do Grossraum Wirtschaft on our army innovations, so let's do army innovations. And now we're August von Mackensen, who's very powerful. And we're at war with Nazi Germany. Let's do service by requirement. That's all that we'll need and, you know, going further is going to cost us quite a lot and do war economy. I could go to total mobilization, but I don't think I really want to. 
your economy will be sufficient. Go forth and destroy Adolf. Germany embroiled in civil war. Not for long. See, they cannot stand our might. Because I have those exploit troops. Actually, you go straight for Berlin. Nobody will stop you. I could even use our very good decryption to get a cipher of the other Germany, but we don't need to. And as you can see, we're still justifying a war goal on Joseph. Hitler found dead. Wonderful. Now, Hitler is dead, so Nazi Germany is led by Himmler. I could theoretically, if this wasn't Iron Man, I could switch countries um, via the console and play as Himmler. Not sure why I would do that, but I could. Anarchist uprising in Spain. A few more victory points and they're done for. Just rush Breslau. Or as it's known today, Wrocław. Didn't even get enough time to deploy the rest of our troops. Catherine is now level 5. And he can get some pretty nice traits. I think he's going to be our field marshal from now on, but let's not change field marshals during the war. And we are done. Did I remember to rename the template? Yes. So the troops were not removed. And I have lots of very strong troops with a lot of equipment. And German military junta is now in control. We are non-aligned. We will be communist. Eventually. But before we do that, we still need to get the Kaiser back. And then become friends with the British. And then betray them and become communist. In the meantime, let's switch all of our troops into just regular infantry. Let's make it a 20th infantry with just artillery support and possibly engineers. Have a look at the logistics a bit later. We should have enough artillery. Yes, we do. And support equipment, we do not have enough. Nazi leadership captured. I could hang them all or I could imprison them for life. I wonder if I can use them again when I become communist. So let's imprison them. And we have some resistance to occupation in Poland. Do we want to use a different division template for garrisons? Actually, cavalry is very efficient at suppression. So we're going to use our tiny template. All of them, please. That should be a bit better. And we will only need infantry equipment to uh, supply the garrison. Get ready to destroy the Soviet Union for me. I do have some artillery from the Civil War. That should be enough to supply all my troops. Um, but I can always build more if I want to. But we could also just switch the template. We'll see when the time comes. Okay, am I still the spy master? I am not the spy master anymore. We have wasted 50 political power. But now we know. Go to free trade. We have decrypted the cipher of the Soviet Union. That will come in handy soon. Now, who should we decrypt next? Let's do United Kingdom. We completed army innovations. Now we could secure the new state. Let's do that. That will give us some extra stability. Hindenburg disaster. No Victoria for us, apparently. Maybe that's for the better. It would be difficult for me to replace our communists. And stuff is happening down in China. I guess I could get in on that, but we'll take the Soviet Union instead. We have finished the Great Purge. Perfect time for us to attack. Of course, they will get the Great Patriotic War modifier, but we can deal with that. Secure the new state. We're going to try and revive the Kaiserreich. Not because we actually want to do it, but because we want to join the Allies temporarily. So we're going to need the infantry expert and the army logistics expert. Should probably also work on getting some nice infrastructure in Poland. Let's make sure we have level 6 around here. I mean, once we have some free factories. What skills are we going to give them? Logistics wizard. That's going to be very useful against the Soviet. Also, aggressive and offensive. Our war goal is ready, but I'm going to wait a few more days until Kesselring gets in position. And there he is. Okay then. I think we're good to go. Let's declare war on the Soviet Union and also reveal their cipher. Go! Bypass the treaty with the USSR. Well, yeah, self-explanatory. We are on aggressive because I want to make sure we make good use of the cipher thingy. Uh, once it runs out, I'm going to switch to balanced. We are reviving the Kaiserreich. Let's rebuild the nation. We're making some gains, not a lot of them. Actually, you know what? Being aggressive was probably a mistake. Let's be balanced. Let's do the Soviet cipher yet again. Also, mass mobilization. Infrastructure is going to be an issue for us. But we do have a lot of factories, we should be able to handle it. Rebuild the nation. Complete. New and better Germany. We decrypted the cipher of the Soviets. Let's reveal it once again. How are we doing on equipment? Well, but not well enough. I might need to become cautious for a while. Army offense expert. New and better Germany complete. Let's fan Prussian militarism. I mean, it's not like we need manpower, but every little bit helps. Okay, this is going well. Slowly, but well. 
I work against Bolshevism. Factory output 5%. Also, we have zero consumer goods right now. Nice. Infantry offensive, please. We decrypted the Soviet cipher once again. Reveal it. And for a moment, go balanced. I work against Bolshevism. Complete. All right, I guess we'll do return of the Kaiser. We don't really care who we get, just as long as we can eye the British afterwards. Also, when the cipher ran out, go back to cautious again. How is the enemy doing on equipment? Um. Not too bad, but not as good as we are. Let's get an army regrouping expert. Also, since now we're doing Return of the Kaiser, we don't really care about non-aligned support anymore. We can start promoting communism once we have enough political power to do so. Oh, fall of Kiev, nice. Soviet cipher decrypted, let's reveal it. Go balanced for a moment once again. And we're gonna repeat that until the Soviets are dead. France and Britain mobilize uh, to stop Kaiser. We don't want to start fighting them. Let's do peace with the Netherlands. Doesn't matter who we get, really. Now we can expatriate the communists. But it's not really that big of a priority right at this second. Instead, let's do army innovations too. Wilhelm III, compromise. Kaiser returns to Germany. Oh, wait a minute. I can get Wilhelm II. I got both Wilhelm II and Wilhelm III. Uh, I, I have seen this before. Essentially, there is some sort of a thing that we get two separate events. One of the compromise from the Allies and one from the Netherlands, if they succumb. And we don't really have to meet their challenge to get uh, the proper Kaiser. Well, hey, we get cheap advisors now. And it's a pity we're going to have to replace you with some communists. We want to make sure we are well supplied. Level 5 should be sufficient, but let's go to level 6. This is going really well. Maybe I shouldn't stop the balanced setting once the cipher runs out. No, no, no. Let's conserve manpower and equipment. Yeah, we're out of equipment, but we should be uncautious. And again, the enemy is probably out of equipment as well. Maybe even more than we are. But why waste people? Construction 3 complete. This is looking good enough. Hungary renounces Tree of Trianon. Not my problem. Our innovations too complete. Let's... Get rid of the communists. But we're not really getting rid of them, we're pretending to get rid of them so that we can send them undercover into France to prepare revolutions there. Speaking of which, let's get a communist revolutionary. So our communism is going to go down due to expatriating the communists, but it's also going up because of our advisor. How is Joseph doing? Do you have any guns? We do have information on that, and they're out of guns, but so are we. Now that we have the bonus, large front offensive, MP38 researched. We can start producing the better guns. We won't be able to produce as many, which is a problem, but they will be stronger. Now we're getting rid of communists and also promoting communism. Good. Except British naval dominance. We want to join the Allies, you see. I'm not sure they'll let me in if I'm at war, though. But we are nearing Moscow. Let's hire the Economist. Fall of Moscow. That should weaken the Soviets quite significantly. Human wave offensive. Let's try and join the Allies with the Alliance with the Shade. Also, I'll improve relations with them. I'm not sure what the criteria for acceptance are anymore. Mm, the Soviets have lost more men than we have, which is good. So, submissively. United Kingdom denies request to join the Allies. Well, we've caused too much world tension. Oh well. It was a nice idea, but we can still export our communists to France. Let's lower French stability. It's a pity this didn't work, but, you know, I did attack quite a lot of people. Actually, this entire playthrough is about expatriating the communists to France and turning them communist that way, while also turning communist ourselves. So, no problem, let's do Reichsautobahn. We have a bit of a problem, because our communism is not growing. Wilhelm II dies. Oh well, don't really mind it too much. At least he will be easier to remove and replace with communists. Let's do Großraumwirtschaft. Also, open up political discourse. And maybe do anti-democratic raids. Because they will help the communists as well. Italy creates a military pact, but not with us. Actually, the proper way to do this would be to expatriate the communists once we already have 50%, so that we could expatriate the communists and immediately become communist. But I only figured it out right now, so that's a bit late. I guess I will not do any focuses for a moment. Oh, we can recall a general. Sure, let's do it. Hungary demands southern Slovakia. Let's do some more anti-democratic raids. And we finished our doctrine. How is France doing? More and more communist, 
though not really communist yet. Getting further into the Soviet Union. Let's finish off Leningrad and the surrounding areas. We can get some extra communist support, but this mostly serves to lower stability. Still, if we're only missing a little bit, we can use it. Advanced computing machine. How far is the enemy from capitulation? Still quite far. We did take Leningrad and Sevastopol. Okay, so Italy attacked Greece. We're at war with Greece and Romania. Oh, all our guys can actually get more troops in their armies now. Let's make some more. Fall of Stalingrad. At some discredited government. How's that Soviet capitulation? Getting closer. The lens cave to the British. Not a problem. The Allies are expanding, but the Allies are not my enemy. Ah, oh, perfect. More communism. I'm still sending them, my communists. It will end soon, though. So my plan to export communists to France, which was the basis for this entire playthrough, seems to not be working. We'll have to switch to communism ourselves first and just use our agents to do it in France. The Soviet defense has crumbled totally. They really need to go aggressive. They stopped doing anything. That's better. It's not like the Soviets can defend anymore. So exporting our communists to France uh, didn't really work. I was hoping it would. But oh well, we'll get them in a different manner. Assassination of Trotsky, that's a pity. He would have been useful. How long now? Not too long. Now I need the allies. Oh, they're gonna give me docking rights. That's stupid of them. And very, very communist. I wonder how that happened. Um, yeah, let's ask for military access from the United Kingdom. Because apparently they want to give it to me. The French don't like me, but the British... Well, they don't like me either, but they want to give me access. I might just destroy them that way. Netherlands joined the Allies, that's fine. And the Soviets have surrendered. Perfect, I'm just gonna take everything. We might satellite some countries later on, but for now, take all states. No trickery, just German military might did this. Okay, so now where's that communism? Expatriate and the communists will end in a month. In the meantime, I should probably start working on destroying the United Kingdom, Italy, and next Greece. But Romania is still fighting them. Because Bulgaria and Italy are friends, if they take over Romania, I could invade them from there. But then I would have to sail around to Italy. But let's not do that. Who should we attack? Maybe Czechoslovakia. Yeah, Czechoslovakia would work. Let's first deploy some more troops and send some guys to Britain as well. Two more army groups. Hungary demands Transylvania. Not my problem. Hungary seeks mediation. Um, I guess. Give not on Transylvania to Hungary. Remember, we have access to Britain. They give it to us for some reason. We have now landed in Britain. And now we can find out if they have patched Order 66 or not. Probably not. Every update someone tells me that the Order 66 no longer works. And every update I find out that it still does. Let's try it. Ah, expatriate uh, the communists has run its course. Now our communism can grow normally. We could ban democratic parties. Yeah, let's do that. This is going to increase our communism a little bit. Not too much, but you know, every bit helps. Hmm, who should we use to lead it? Well, one of the three field marshals we've trained as generals. So, Manstein, you're going to lead uh, this army group. And become an organizer as well. Oh, General Mux army group size plus two. Cool, he can now handle seven armies. That's great. How about the Guderian? Nope. So our troops are in Britain, right? We shouldn't keep them all in one port. Let's spread them around. Remember, they are giving me military access for some reason. How is China doing? Still holding on. So this army group here is gonna take care of Britain, while the rest of you take care of the rest of the Allies. We're going to be taking over some stuff in Europe. We're still working towards communism, but we're not quite there yet. So I guess we're kind of ready. I'll just fire a woggle on Czechoslovakia. For Sudetenland, of course. Can't really demand it anymore, but we can justify for it. They don't even need to give me military access. Not sure why they did. But this way, we'll know if Order 66 still works or not. Also, let's start producing the best guns. Yeah, I'm a bit behind on the guns thing, but we should have enough. Japan attacked the Philippines. Romania capitulated. See, the US is not in the Allies, they're just fighting Japan on their own right now. Um, perhaps when Japan attacks France, that will change. Oh, we've bypassed the line Romania. Yeah, you know what, let's just do German war economy. I wanted to make them into puppets, but it's more trouble than it's worth. I want to get that Wargle 80 days. Luxembourg has joined the Allies. If Order 66 still works, Britain will fall quickly. Sweden is a major power now for some reason. India is not. So once we take out uh, the United Kingdom and France, all should be ours, provided the United States don't join, and they just have. 
Yeah, see, if I did that earlier, I wouldn't need to deal with the United States. You know what? I still have military access to the British. So, let's just land some troops in Labrador. Why not? German war economy complete. Don't really need anything else here. Let's do, I don't know, construction repair. Oh no, resistance suppression. Yeah, let's do that. Are we dealing with guns? Not good, but good enough. All right, our troops are in uh, Canada. The last competing machine complete. Let's do atomic research. Because we can. Where's my war goal? And where's my communism? It's taking forever, isn't it? Turns out I'm gonna conquer everything and then turn communist. Should have stayed with Adolf for that. Still, I was hoping there would be a cool little thingy with France and communists getting to power there. Justification for Sunderland is finished. Let us attack. Declare war. Call allies? No need, we have no allies. And no need for allies. Now we're gonna see if Order 66 works or not. And it does, of course it does. It always does. Because it's the best. Go. Aggressively. Yeah, they called in United States as our enemy, and that's the only problem here, really. Italian volunteers, sure, why not? Attack everyone, attack. Czechoslovakia has forts, so this is going to be problematic. But in the long run, we will defeat them. Invite a faction from Japan. Not right now. I think I want to keep the wars separate. Britain is falling. Slowly, but it is. Benelux is defending surprisingly well. Well, I only have infantry, so I guess that's why. Alright, Czechoslovakia is doing better than I thought they would. I wonder if Italy would want to get in on the action. They would if I was fascist, but I'm not. Fall of London. Britain will not last much longer. Czechoslovakia doing great, though. Well, those are not my best troops, but still. I sent all the good ones to Britain. It was probably a bad idea, because Britain didn't really need all my best troops. Take Birmingham. They should surrender. Yep, United Kingdom has capitulated. Now let's leave one of these guys in charge of Britain. And the rest of you can go back home. Come on, I need communism. Seems like our troops have arrived home without incident. Would be nice if we could get Italy to pressure France from the other side. And perhaps I should have attacked Austria instead of Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is very well defended. I am wasting a lot of resources on them. Now I wonder, Italy is justifying on Yugoslavia and France is guaranteeing Yugoslavia. So we should soon get Italy attacking France from the other side. Yeah. My attack on Czechoslovakia was a mistake. I mean, we will handle it eventually. Are we doing in North America? Not too great, but we do have a foothold. Or rather, we did a moment ago. Italy declared on war on Yugoslavia and France got involved. Which is very good for me. Because Italy will handle France from the south. And if we could get Hungary involved, Italy would help us with Czechoslovakia. The Allies are much tougher than I anticipated. I can't ask to join the Italian faction, but I can get access from them. Ah, oh, Italy is inviting me to their faction. Sure, I will do that. Germany has joined the Italian faction. Hungary demands stuff, as usual. You know what? I should probably get some more military factories. Yugoslavia rejects Hungarian demands. Oh, we might get Hungary in our faction. Yep, Hungary declared war on Yugoslavia. And they joined the Japanese. The big question is, are you at war with Czechoslovakia? Did the Czechoslovakia ever join the war with Japan? Yes, they did. So Hungary is either at war with them or will be in a moment. Brits are trying to retake their country. Not gonna work, I'm afraid. Hungary has started fighting Czechoslovakia. And that will relieve the pressure on my guys a little bit. And hopefully enough for us to actually advance. Let's go balanced. We can assume leadership of the faction. Do we want to? Not really. I could take over Spymaster, I could take over faction. Ah, Yugoslavia has capitulated. And we get more communism, yay! We didn't really do anything against Yugoslavia, so... What? Wait a minute, what is this? A different treaty with the same thing. No matter. All we want to do is make France communist. And they're very close to it. But to push them further, I need to conquer them, or to be communist. Working on it, though. French stability is very low. Maybe I should just use my agent to destabilize them further. Um, do I have another agent available? Yes. Let's take over Spymaster. Do I get more agents? Yes, I do. Oh, I've decrypted and the cipher for Czechoslovakia. Wonderful. Let's activate it. Surrounded by enemies and still they resist. Yeah, my agents are crap. We haven't really invested in them properly. But France will get conquered from the south at least. That's something. I guess I could send an army down here to help with France a bit. New agent. Let's get a French one. Brits trying to retake their territory, but I'm garrisoning all the ports so they can't do anything. More communism, finally. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Finally, we are 
communist exiled. Is that like part of his surname? Or is he no longer exiled? I don't know. We no longer have bulwark against Bolshevism. Well, makes sense. Although we did get rid of Bolshevism, that one particular brand of communism. Socialist Republic of Germany. Now to achieve our goals, we still need to make France communist. I was hoping to do it peacefully, but you know. Most of my plans backfired this game. If we succeed in making France communist, it'll all be okay. And we do have a foothold in North America, but I don't think we're going to use it. Why hell, Czechoslovakia is tough. Well, let's boost communism in France. If they flip peacefully before I can conquer them, that's good as well. It seems like Czechoslovakia will finally be taken care of, thanks to Hungary. Seems like Czechoslovakia might be at the end of its road, thanks to Hungary. Let's push a little bit so that we can help the Hungarians. Also, I did not pay attention to the front lines. I am really impressed with Czechoslovakia. I mean, there is forts and all that, but still. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. Greater than what? Need to go to all adult serve because I've been wasting manpower on Czechoslovakia. Oh, I could actually start a coup in France if I had enough war network strength. So let's work on spy networks and ignore anything else. So what will happen first? Will we capitulate France or will we start a civil war for communism? Probably will capitulate them. We can now try and orchestrate a coup in France. Let's try it. The Americans have landed in Britain. I think I can hold it, but still annoying. Okay, let's take over the faction from Italy, because we can. And France has capitulated. Wonderful. France is taken care of. We didn't really manage to turn France communist, but we managed to take out France. Now this war will not end yet, because there's still the United States as a major power, which is a pity, and the British Raj, uh, but I want to end it here. Essentially what this was is me trying out the idea of sending communists to France, making them communist, while also becoming communist myself. Clearly, this did not work. I know it was a terrible idea, but it seemed fun. So let me know what you think. Do you want to see more videos like this where I just test a random weird thing out? Or do you prefer the ones that are more polished and more prepared, where I actually know what I'm doing? Let me know in the comments. I did really play it very, very inefficiently. Um, what we should have done was just take out Poland, switch to the Kaiserreich, join the Allies, take out the Allies, then take out the Soviet Union, and then take out whoever else we wanted to. But yeah, I was just testing things out. Or alternatively, we could have just switched to communism right away, straight from Adolf. And for example, used our agent. Both of these would have been better than this. You know, just exporting communists seemed like fun. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here, let me know what you think, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.